Hi, it's Kate from The Sober School with your weekly dose of help and inspiration. And today I want to talk all about the influence of other people and our group mentality. So it's something that I was thinking about as I was walking around here on my daily walk and I saw all the sheep and the really cute little lambs are out at the moment. Now, as you probably know, <laughs> sheep are so daft sometimes and they have a reputation for being easily led and blindly just following each other around without question. We, we ridicule them for that, don't we? I mean, if someone talks about another person being a bit of a sheep, it is not a compliment. But I was thinking that when it comes to alcohol, we often act just like sheep. I mean, one of the main reasons that many of us start drinking in the first place is because we want to fit in. I remember instinctively not liking that first taste of booze, but I made sure that I learned to love it because that was what everyone else was doing. When you think about it, it is absolutely crazy to drink something that is going to make you feel ill the next day and make you dizzy and nauseous. But because everyone else is doing it, we just kind of accept that that's the way it is. That's what happens. Our group mentality is really, really powerful. Now, I know that when it comes to alcohol-free living, it can feel really hard to choose a lifestyle that's going to make you different to most people and where you potentially risk standing out and not fitting in. So if this is something that you're experiencing or worrying about right now, I want to share two tips to help you reframe this. So tip number one is to remember that you are far more independent and bloody minded than you think you are. I bet there's tons of stuff that you do already that other people might raise their eyebrows at, but you don't care. Maybe. I don't know, you've got an unusual hobby or a unique taste in music, or perhaps there's a particular issue that you feel really, really strongly about. When it comes to those kind of things, I bet you don't care that you are in a minority and that potentially other people don't share that view or that passion. I'll give you another example of this. I used to work in an office where quite a few of my friends smoked. So several times a day, they would all go outside for a cigarette. And, you know, I often felt as if I missed out on some of the office jokes because I wasn't privy to the conversations that were happening during those smoke breaks. But not once did I consider taking up smoking or standing outside with them just so I could fit in and join them. That would have been crazy. My point is, we are often a hell of a lot more independent than we give ourselves credit for. And you can, and I can, apply that bloody mindedness to sobriety too. So my second tip is to remember that your perspective on all of this is going to change massively. I promise you it will. As drinkers, we have a tendency to see what we want to see. So when we believe that everyone else drinks, we just keep on finding more, inf more evidence that supports that theory. You know, we, we see what we want to see. But when you shake things up a bit and stop drinking, you will soon see that A, you're not the only one, and B, it's just not that big a deal anymore. It isn't. There were some government statistics that came out earlier this month that showed that in the UK, so in boozy old Britain, one in five people are now teetotal. One in five. So this means that we actually all know quite a few non-drinkers. We just might not realise it because maybe they keep it a bit quiet. And this supports what I've been saying for ages, which is that non-drinkers are everywhere. You've just got to open your eyes and look for them. You are in good company. When I first quit drinking, I didn't like the idea of being in a minority and being different. 
but with time I've realized that it isn't really that big a deal or a bad thing because going against the grain and doing your own thing is pretty cool. It's a quiet act of rebellion that then sets you up for all kinds of great things because once you get over this hurdle in your mind, you'll be able to take on anything. So I hope this video inspires you to stop being one of them, stop being one of these guys, stop being one of the crowd, stop worrying about fitting in. I'm Kate B. Wherever you're watching this, please scroll down and let me know if you are going to join me in being a sober rebel this week. Bye for now.